This is Tim Cat from the On Grid Homestead. And right now I'm doing laundry for free from the power of the sun. Not a cloud in the sky. Oh, a little bit over there. Hope this doesn't wreck my camera. So I got a busy day ahead of me. I'm going to try and get three posts in today. The first one killed me. That was last Friday. And then it rained for four days. And my birthday was in between all that. Finally got back at it. I did two and then two. Three feet down. That's 15 feet worth of drilling, eight inches around. I'm going to use crushed gravel to stabilize them and tamp that in there good and solid. And if the wind does wiggle, it's just going to cause it to tighten up because the gravel will wiggle. And if that happens, it'll settle a bit and then you just add more gravel. Looking good. This one here is a little bit too low. I got to. Actually, I should go down on all of them and then put crushed gravel and string across till I got them all at the exact height. I'll give it a little bit of drainage on the bottom as well. So here's my old gate. I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to be approximately four feet. This gate isn't exactly four feet. But I'm going to have a post. I don't know why that one was not sunk. I hate this old fence. It's going to work out perfect. These orange dots are exactly six foot spacings. So one, two, three, four, and then the gate post here. And if I hang the gate on this post and I've got another post really close, I can put a diagonal piece on the back side to make this post help support that post and keep the gate from sagging. That works out great. The gate's going to swing out this way. I have to remove all that dirt. And it should, if my calculations are right, it should just miss that tap. If it doesn't, well, I'll put the hinges on that side. And then secure the post to the wall. Over here, I can't attach to my neighbor's fence and I don't want to because I don't want to start any more wars. The boards are going to go across up to here. There'll be a 2x8 here and a 2x8 there. Enough to put a dummy board and it won't be attached at all. This used to be a gate and it's actually twisted his post. Because the wind's blowing this open a few times. The west winds come from that way and it blew this open this way. I've had that shimmed up for a few years now. It's ugly as shit. There's not much holding this. So I should be good. Here, let's go inside the yard and I'll show you. See how this works? I got this extra rope that I... It's a piece of cable TV wire. But you gotta push in. And kick the bottom while you're pulling this lever. It's been a royal pain in the cunt since... Pretty much since I moved in. And then it doesn't latch properly. I gotta be really careful because I got dogs, I don't want them getting out. But look at the span between here and there. That looks like seven or eight feet. The new gate's gonna have an extra post right beside to stop the sag. And this bullshit here of toenailing in, that's garbage. That's the wrong way to do it. This is where the weak spot is. And look at these hinges all twisted up there and I've had the jerry rig and I had to scramble in a panic. I don't know where I got this. It matches the color of my house. I don't know what it originally was for. But I had to span that across and that piece and that piece to stop this from blowing open. And then shimmed on the other side because the wind used to just rock this bitch back and forth. Look how twisted those fucking hinges are. And it twisted my neighbor's post. Might be able to twist that back after we're done. Probably best to leave it though. We'll see how wobbly it gets when I take my gate off. 
it is a corner post so it's got that way supporting it and this way should be good and all the dirt that I took out of the holes um, I filled in all the holes in the backyard here that the dogs had dug there's a big one here and a big one in that corner she almost got out too and then there was a hole where a gopher had been going in and out under the deck I filled that in and then there was a small hole in the middle of the yard not sure which dog is doing most of this I think it is Wrangler I've tripped in that hole a few times filled that up yesterday they dug up my fiber optic line those bastards only buried it about fucking four inches deep though right there is where the fiber optic line was and they exposed the orange conduit and this corner here I had to fill and this corner here and I think with the old fence I'm gonna temporarily put it across here a section of it I'll cut it in half so it's not four feet tall and cordon that off and get some grass seed in there and fix all this damage up I'm gonna do something different I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't want to use lattice but I gotta stop the dogs from going in there I think I'll buy some proper chain link fence and staple it to the posts the chicken wire is too feeble so over here filming the ground I'm gonna bring this parking pad big enough for a 40 foot 35 or 40 foot motorhome so this tree's gone and that tree's gone I'm gonna extend the fence up to here there'll be a man gate swinging in there get rid of all that and then straight across approximately the middle between these two trees a new section of fence and I'm gonna put those at five foot spacings because of the length of the span and the exposure to the west winds I don't want that swaying in the wind anymore and I'll just pick up where I left off I'm gonna rebuild this I'll just pick up where I left off I don't know where the next post is I think it's right here so I don't care if the posts end up three feet apart oops I stepped in the dog shit didn't I huh yes I did oopsies that's my next project pick up dog shit today big chunks of it there I should pay it I should have done that before I started filming fuck's sakes oh well shit happens there's another one there I just picked it up the other day and I gotta cut the grass too today pick up dog shit cut grass what should I do first rehydrate first Kara or pick up dog shit okay I'll pick up the shit